I want to take a few minutes and show you some of the techniques that I use to communicate to models. This is not a how to pose video. In fact, if you've read any of my articles on posing, you already know how I feel about most books and videos that teach you how to pose. They suck. I want to show you how I communicate to my models to ensure that I get consistent results time after time. It doesn't matter if you're doing a directed candid pose or a very controlled pose. You must communicate effectively and consistently with your subject. I can't tell you how many times I watch even experienced photographers tell a subject to move a hand or tilt a head without giving them any direction as to left or right or how much. Now throughout this video, you're gonna hear me say the word model, but understand you can interchange model with bride, groom, high school senior, CEO, celebrity. These are techniques that are very effective at creating consistent results when you're photographing people one-on-one. -on -one. So where do we start? Space, no, not outer space, respecting space. There is no benefit to getting up close in someone's face and talking quietly like you're making some kind of connection. All you're doing is invading their space and making them uncomfortable or sick from your bad breath if you had a spicy burrito for lunch. You can stand back and communicate eye to eye very effectively. And remember, eye contact is very important, especially if your model or subject is wearing something skimpy like a bathing suit or lingerie. If you have to move close to adjust hair or fix a strap, it's best to have a female assistant or a makeup artist do it. And if you're working one-on-one -on -one with your subject, tell your subject exactly what you intend to do first, then move in to make the adjustment. Don't tell your subject to just look over there or turn 45 degrees. Most people aren't going to know how much 45 degrees is. The best plan of attack is simply to move where you want them to look. That way they're going to turn and they're going to face you. You're going to have them exactly where you want them. Oftentimes I will hold my fingers up and ask them, pick a spot directly behind my fingers and that's where I want you to look. This way I'm even able to control where their eyes are for my shot. Use the models left or right. This takes a lot of practice. You can't just say move your hand or tilt your head. You've got to tell them which hand and which direction. And don't make the mistake of looking down and saying move that hand. You're going to break their concentration and more often than not, they're going to look down too to see what you're talking about and when that happens, the hair drops, you lose your shot. Use hand gestures. I'll usually put my hand up between myself and my subject and use that as a point for them to focus on as I ask them, please just tilt your head a little tiny bit to the left or a little bit to the right. This way, not only do they hear the directions that I'm giving them, but they've got this point to focus on, which makes the directions clearer and also more obvious. Believe me, a lot of people will suddenly not be able to tell their left from their right if you just say move this or move that to the left or the right. Demonstrate the pose. Don't just tell your subject to tilt their head or turn their body or lift the rib cage. We're all humans, and as humans, we are visual learners. Give your directions backwards. When I want someone to turn their head to the left, I'll tell them, okay, just a little bit, turn your head to the left. This way, my words, hand gestures, grab their attention by leaving the actual direction until the end of the sentence. They can't jump the gun and anticipate what I'm gonna tell them. Probably the most important piece of advice, take the time to teach your subject what you need them to know. It will pay great dividends in accomplishing your goals of getting a great shot. Now, what do we mean by that? Simple, explain to them all the things that are in your head that you want to see come out of them as they're your subject. For instance, I will explain to the model that I'll only ever ask them to do three things with their head, up and down, side to side, or a little tilt, either way. I'll explain to them that I really want them to focus on happy thoughts instead of giving me a big cheesy smile. The few extra seconds that it takes me to give them this information and this understanding pay back in dividends because when I start shooting and I'm giving them directions, they understand what I'm looking for. So let's put this to practice. Instead of me walking over and working with a model and showing you how good I am at it, what I'd like to do is have you experience being on the receiving end of my technique so that you have a sense of what your subject is going to hear and what they're going to understand in terms of the directions that I'm going to give. So I am the photographer, you are my subject, and here we go. Okay, so since you're sitting down, 
I'd like you to just relax. You don't have to sit up really stiff. It's not like the school portraits and there's really not a lot of value to that because it just tires you out. So just relax. Don't be too relaxed. I don't want the really hunched shoulders, okay? So I want you to look right here at me and as we take these headshots, understand that I'm only going to give you three different directions for your head. I'm either going to ask you to lift your chin up and down or I'm gonna ask you to turn your face side to side, or I'll ask you to tilt your head. And when we do the tilt, do me a favor, I don't mean to like drop the chin or lift the chin, just a tilt wherever your head happens to be. Now, when I ask you for these moves, I understand I'd like you to make them really small. So seriously, if I'm looking for a turn of the head, I want you to go from here just to there, that's it. The camera magnifies things quite a bit. You have great eyes. I wanna make sure that I see those eyes and I can get the energy that is in those eyes. So we're not gonna be turning your head way over here, okay? So, very simple for me, just stay relaxed. I'd like you to think about something that makes you happy. We're, we're gonna try and avoid that cheese, but I definitely want that happy energy. I want a little bit of a soft smile. So looking right here, just a tiny little bit, I like you to turn your face to the left. That's perfect. Now if you could, just a little bit, we're gonna to tilt to the left. Awesome. Now, we're just gonna do a couple shots. All right, happy thoughts. I wanna see a lot of energy in those eyes. Great, now that's perfect. Stay right there. So listen, just a little bit, we're gonna come right back to center. Perfect. And now this time, we're gonna do a little, just a tilt of the head to the right. Awesome, right there. Nice energy, good, perfect. Really soft, just lift that chin up a little bit. Great, okay, and good energy. Nice, that's awesome. So do you see where I'm headed with this, guys? Communicate. Put yourself in your subject's seat or shoes so that you can understand what they're hearing when you're giving directions. But the key is make your directions specific Take the time to explain to your subject what you're looking for. And like I always say, don't be afraid to suck. You've got to experiment. You've got to try things. The more you put these techniques to use, you're going to find the pieces that work best for you. You're going to adapt them to your shooting style and they will improve your technique. Happy shooting.